Greetings friends! Man, is it pretty here or what? It is a really, really beautiful day. I hope it's just as beautiful where you are. Let me know in the comment section below. Well, today we got some work to do. We need to work in our high tunnel to get it ready for some tomatoes that we're gonna be planting. Right now we currently have tomatoes growing here in our greenhouse that is right near our house, the yurt. And uh, let me show you those tomatoes first. So right in here, is where we have some of our tomatoes that we've already transplanted. Started them from seed, grew them in these trays, and then transplanted them in here into this bed. And these are growing very, very well. We have them planted with some lettuce beside them and some leeks that we have growing there. So hopefully they'll both grow really well. And uh, these are, we've got these seeds from Joel and Teresa Southen at Polyface Farm. Some seeds that have been in her family for a number of years now so we're pretty excited about growing these because when we had them they were just really lush large tomatoes really really delicious and the way that we grow our tomatoes that i prefer to grow them is with the hard pruning method using wire rope here whoops <laughs> with these things called tomahooks so what you do is is you tie this string here down to the bottom of the tomato and start letting it work its way as it's growing up this up the string here to up the tomahawk and then as it's going you just prune gradually prune and they produce more and more but at the same time they're also as they grow they're the easy easier height to manage and easily harvest the fruit right off because you can see it'll be like right here in front of our eyes so it's still going to need to come through and clean out this bed not doing tomatoes here on this section we're going to be doing cucumbers here growing them up the tomahooks and here in the middle we're going to be setting a wire up with tomahooks for these tomatoes to grow in but we're not going to work on that today we're going to be working on the high tunnel up where i had chickens over the winter where they were really doing a good job adding their manure, their feathers, just to fertilize the soil to make it better. Uh, let's head up there. Alrighty, so not too long ago, we moved the chickens out of this high tunnel here. But let me tell you, it was not the easiest thing in the world moving them out of here. Moving our newer layers that are currently in the garden right now. I have a new chick shawl that I've built, constructed for them not too long ago moving them is so much easier but these chickens right here have the oldest chicken coop chicken chick saw whatever you want to call it the oldest one that's here on the homestead it's one of the earliest ones that i built a number of years ago and it's falling apart and i need to build them a new one but i still had to move them regardless of them not having it yet and it was fun all right guys so here's the plan I want a couple of you to usher the chickens and the few ducks that are in here down this side of the caterpillar tunnel and keep them there while we move the fence on the outside so you just guard them and keep them in where they need to be down that way and then we'll just gradually adjust the fence and then eventually move them over here to the compost area. There we go. Good job, they're following Sam. Right Don't worry about the eggs right now. Focus on keeping them down there. We'll get the eggs later. Sayla's got some special treats down there for them that they're really excited about. It's her secret.
And now that those chickens are out, they're right over in our compost area, helping us to build more soil. Chickens are excellent co-workers to have on the farm. They can till, they can weed, they can fertilize, and they can produce eggs or meat for you. Excellent one to have. So now it's time to get work on this caterpillar tunnel here, this high tunnel. And uh, what I need to do to set it up for growing tomatoes in here is I need to set up our wire here. I need to run it alongside the top. We're gonna have two rows of tomatoes down the middle. We'll be able to do four rows of produce in here total, but in the center rows, we're gonna have the tomatoes growing. So I need to set this wire up, this wire rope or cable, whatever you wanna call it, works really well. And uh, it's very strong for holding up those tomato plants. But uh, before I put the wire up, I need to run this drill alongside there, put some holes in there so I can run this wire through. Jig set up. Stop it. you may be wondering a couple things one is what about the tarp down here on the ground well I'm using the tarp to catch any of the fragments of scrap metal that may be falling down as a result of me drilling the holes here in the hoops and then that way that we won't have any scrap metal in our our garden beds don't want that also um, you may be seeing that I'm skipping a few hoops well some of the hoops I have I drilled previously when this was part of these hoops were recycling we were using in the garden at another pe period of time but as a result of that if shifting it and moving it over we added some other hoops that didn't have holes in them so right now I'm drilling holes in the ones that aren't haven't been previously drilled now, I do recommend the easiest way to do this of drilling the holes is down on the ground before you set them up but you just got to do what you have to do sometimes and sometimes you learn as you go so Got my life. always do it the easy way. <laughs> no, nope. so we're, we're not necessarily a how-to channel. You may see how not to do things <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> but it is what it is. And uh, another thing I want to point out is, I don't know, what was I going to point out? I lost it. It'll come back to me. Back to drilling. <laughs> oh, I remember what I was going to say. I am measuring 20 inches from the center of the hoop over to get where I'm drilling my holes to run my wire. The reason why I'm doing that is because each of my beds are 30 inches wide and that measurement puts it close to the center of each bed. I said I was going to do two beds, remember that earlier in the center? So this would be the center for this bed right here and next we're going to do holes for the bed here, center of that bed. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, next we're going to set up our wire, and uh, I don't know what this piece is called, but we're going to use it to tighten it up. So we're going to push through the loop, through the hoop, make a loop, use this to tighten it up. Let me have that in. I forgot to put the tape on it. 
forgot about that. One of the things that we were doing before when we used this wire for the first time is I didn't use the tape on the end. And the more that I was pushing it through the holes that I was drilling, it, the wire started fraying. So great reminder there from Lacey to remember to do that. Because once it starts fraying, it, you can't stop it. You have to cut it again to really get a clean end. And it doesn't take much, just a little piece of tape on there. One of the things I've learned the hard way, too, is to not pull your wire too tight as you're going this way. So I like to leave just a little bit of sag. Reason why is, in the past I've made it really, really tight up here. And then there's been some slight sag when it starts raining and it'll push puddles of water down right here. And you don't want that because it is a pain to push the water over. And then also that tension of the water settling and making, making a little pool there just really works hard on your plastic and uh, can really damage it. So really just wanna leave some sag there so that doesn't happen. And then that will still give it plenty of strength to hold your tomatoes. Trust me, pushing those puddles of water off is not fun. And I actually have strained my shoulder before doing it. So it can be pretty heavy, even for me. Another thing about this wire is you wanna make sure you do not get any knots in it. Cause if you pull a knot tight in this stuff, it will bend the wire and then you're just stuck with the kink for forever. So make sure you get it all untangled before you start pulling it through there. It's exciting seeing all of this come together because I can just see those huge tomatoes growing in here. And uh, you know, I love a good tomato sandwich. What is your favorite way to eat tomatoes in the summertime? Like fresh, straight from the garden, you know, perfectly ripe. How do you like to eat those tomatoes? Because one of my favorite, favorite ways is, I know it's terrible, but white bread with mayonnaise and fresh tomatoes. What's yours? I know what mine is. Mine is a nice, luscious, ripe tomato, sliced, put on, grass-fed beef burger with some organic wheat buns. Delicious. <laughs> oh, 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 another one. I guess, can I have two? My other one would be a nice, Farm fresh egg sandwich with fresh tomatoes sliced on it, some farm basil sprinkled on it, with a little bit of cheese, mm, good. I got him hooked on those sandwiches because that's what I was making for breakfast in the summertime. That's a wrap with the wire. Whew, it's hot up there. It's a little cooler down here. Actually, a lot cooler down there here than it is up there. But one of the things I want to point out here is look at this clay. You know what? Before we brought the chickens in, it was worse than this. Actually, this is a side that they didn't work on quite as much, and I didn't help them out enough. So we're really gonna have to work on breaking it up. But this right here is what we're working with here sometimes. It's hard stuff. And I actually learned that. There's actually a lot of nutrients in clay, but it's sometimes hard for, because it's hard, hard for the plants to access the nutrients in it because it's so hard and, and condensed and just balled and glued together. So we're gonna continue to amend it and build it up over time 
Uh, but last year when we before we brought the chickens in and we tried to grow stuff in here it was just so bad things really didn't turn out right but let me show you down on the other end which just it's a lot better still has some work to go but it's better so this is down here where i was just showing you and then you can gradually see it beginning to change here i, I helped them out by adding some nice compost to the area there's still some clay down there like down there below but you can start to see that hey what they were the work they were doing starting to pay off all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put up the tomahooks up on the wire that we just said if you don't mind taking the magnet over the tarp and just Getting uh all those metal pieces yeah using your magnetic abilities <laughs> my magnetic personality what there can you i go. say <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a magnet on your homestead like i highly suggest you get one because you know there's always projects where you have screws and nails and well if you're like us you're all the time dropping them or something gets knocked over and then you have a hard time finding all of those screws and nails and a magnet just helps you do that a lot faster see it picks up all kinds of stuff you just drag it on the ground it's also another job that we uh, have Micah or Josiah or Sayla do and sometimes they fight over it but it's just an easy way to pick up metal so you're making sure you don't get holes in your tires from rogue nails and screws. I'm getting tired of pulling this ladder around. I wonder if I could just jump up there and hook them in. Believe it or not. I used to be able to dunk a basketball. <laughs> just just barely, because I'm right at 5'7 or whatever it is. So I'm gonna see if I can jump up there and kick it in. Let's see. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself right here. If I am, it's just for you guys. We're friends, so you laugh at me. Right. Oh yeah. Get some exercise in. Let's hopefully speed it up a little bit for up on this ladder all around. We actually, uh, these are tomahooks that we used from last year. So they hold up as you can see and I'll leave a link in the show notes below where you can get some. Well, I'm done using my magnetic personality. <laughs> anyway, so I will take this and put some gloves on and then rake all this stuff off into the trash so it doesn't go in anybody's feet because there's a lot of barefoot little people walking around. And I know from experience, getting metal shards in your feet is not a fun experience. <laughs> well, I'm also gonna check on Sayla to see how she's doing because in the last video I said she wasn't 100%. How you doing? Better. Well, are you feeling a lot better? Better than I was yesterday. Okay, but not 100%. Mm -mm. She's still sounding a little stopped up and everything. Is that how you feel too? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, you know what? I got something in the mail the other day that I forgot about that I want to give you to help you recover. Okay. What do I have in my box of tricks? Y'all know how much I like to get mail. And I got some great mail the other day. Okay. So, oh, tea ball. Gotta have tea ball for herbal tea. Let's see here. I got some witch hazel. That's not what you want. Oh, herbal tea. You can have some if you like. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Elder flower tincture and it helps support your immune system and that is what Sayla needs right now. So I'm going to give some to her.
One of my other herbalist friends, Flower, she told me the other year that she feels like tinctures in water uh, do better. So I'm just put some in water and I'm gonna have Sayla just drink on this for the rest of the day. Think you can do that? Mm-hmm. How's it taste? It just tastes a little bit different. Not much. But not bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back out here and help your daddy some more. Okay. Well, my magnet is now clean. And Sayla, it looks like she's on the mend. And I know that the elder flower tincture is going to even help her get better faster. So now let's go back out here and see what else I need to do with Mike. Alrighty, so I decided to use the tiller just to kind of loosen the soil up here a little bit. And there are some areas that are really good. And then there are some areas that are okay. And then there's some areas that are still rock hard with the clay. So I was thinking maybe you could bring in some sand down at the end of the caterpillar tunnel there, high tunnel here. And then I'll just kind of start mixing the, using the sand to blend in and try to break that, break that clay up some. Cause it's like two thirds of it is, is workable, but down there at the end, it's just so hard. It's not really, really workable. Well, you can tell this looks much nicer right here <laughs> and it progressively gets worse yeah, going so, uh, to that end. So we, did, we didn't, we weren't as diligent <laughs> adding <laughs> compost and leaves down there for the chickens during the winter, but we were pretty diligent down here is, is definitely evident here. Uh, also, I'm gonna have to order some more tomahooks. I ran out getting my exercise in but before you get the sand if you could make me some of that relight and mm. let me tell you I don't Gatorade is a bunch of junk we don't use Gatorade here it's best to make your own but uh, actually the relight is even easier to use you don't have to worry about making your own and it's really good for you too it's from Redmond uh, the company that makes the salt and uh, we actually there's actually a 15% discount that we'll give you guys in the show notes below just because uh, we like them so much and, and they're friends of ours. We actually want to visit their place yes. out one day out there in Utah. That would they be really, really neat to do. They so. want to go. It would be so cool. So if you don't mind, I'm going to keep working on this. If you could bring me some relight and then I'll take a sip of that and then some sand and we'll just keep plugging away in here. Okay. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time mm -hmm. Cause I know what it's like to be broke what it's like when nothing goes your way so i'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah And I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy All righty, definitely getting my workout in and sun in today. So I started moving some sand around, getting ready to blend it in. But I'm gonna have to come back to this area right here just because it's clay. I'm really gonna have to do some more to break it up. I already bent a broad fork, two forks, on it so um we're gonna have to come back to regroup and come back to it i'm gonna have to actually get some compost because our chickens don't have compost ready yet they're making some but it's not ready yet so we're gonna have to go pick some up probably tomorrow 
and uh, get back to working on in here. So I've been watering a little bit as I've, I've gone just to kind of help see if there's some moisture, the moisture will help break it up. It's helping a little bit, but not so much on this, this really, really rocky hard clay. So um, I'm gonna have to get a fresh start it and come back and attack it uh, later. But after we get, we get soil ready, then we're gonna bring in landscape fabric just to suppress any weeds that I may have stirred up with, uh, with tilling here. And then we'll transplant our tomatoes in here. And I can't wait for that. So I still have to get a few more tomahooks. So those should come in uh, and be ready for us by the time we plant the tomatoes. But uh, actually they're not full grown yet. So we can go ahead and put the tomatoes in. And then uh, order, once we've ordered our tomahooks, uh, we'll, the tomatoes should be fine and ready for them when they arrive. But uh, I got more work to do here, guys. So I have to go. Hope you guys are having a great day. See you next time.